remembering 19-year-old Ania Womack, her family sharing these photos with us, saying that she was shot and dropped off at a hospital overnight. She died early this morning. She's a bright spirit, loves to dance, beautiful. Um, she, she touched everybody. I think the phones haven't stopped ringing for everybody she's touched. Um, in schools, friends, work, she was an amazing person. And her family is big and everybody's hurting. Anaya Womack's cousin, Autumn Redding, uh, says that the family's in a lot of pain today. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says right now they don't know where the shooting happened. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joining us live from JSO. Marilyn, police are questioning the two people who dropped Womack off at the hospital. Yes, when we spoke with them earlier today, the police said that they don't know if those two people were good Samaritans or suspects in this case. Anaya Womack's family says they are feeling incredibly uneasy today and they just don't know if this was an accident. At the hospital, she was Jane Doe. That's not who she is. Anaya Womack's family says she was like butterfly of love, just always floating around and giving love. She was the life of the party. They are hurt and confused. We love Anaya very much, mm -hmm. so much. They feel the circumstances leading to Womack's death just don't make sense. Six hours before police were called to the hospital, Womack called her grandmother. She said that she was gonna be home today. So that's what we were waiting on for, for her to come home. They say Womack was with a group of people, some who they believe aren't speaking up. Two individuals dropped the preliminary information at JSO brought officers roughly 30 minutes away from the family home. Police were canvassing the area of Trednick Parkway and Monument Road. There was no scene here, but somewhere in this area, they say Womack was picked up. They say it was by a man and a woman. They drove for about 15 minutes, then dropped her off right here at Memorial Hospital. Police say the two people that were in the car with her are being questioned. Everything is not adding up, and we just want to find out all the pieces to the puzzle. Whoever dropped her off didn't give the hospital Womack's name. The family got there between 1 and 2 a.m. They say she died around 4 a.m. Under the circumstances, it's no reason we're providing a name for her after she passes away. Any accident, you stay by the side, you follow through. This, this wasn't that. We definitely want to make sure that her life is represented to know that they took somebody special from us and we're going to do what we can do to make sure we get justice for her. They love her very much and they just want answers. Womack was supposed to be starting a brand new job today. She had a future ahead of her and her family says they're encouraging families everywhere to hold on to your loved ones very close. And if you have any information, they're asking you to come forward and contact JSO. Reporting live, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.